Hi guys, this is Hafiz and welcome to my channel. Today our topic is how to send email using Gmail SMTP through PHP Mailer class. Well, in today's video, I will work PHP Mailer class and show you how to use it to send an email using Gmail SMTP server. In this video, I will cover how to send plain text email, HTML email and also we will see how to send email with an attachment. So stay with me and watch this video till the end. So guys, let's start action now. First of all, I'll show you I have my htdocs folder. In htdocs folder, we'll create one folder called PHP Mailer. We'll keep our project file in this folder and inside this folder, I will have more two folders. One will be includes and second will be image. In includes folder, we'll keep our PHP Mailer required files and inside image folder will keep attachment the attachment that will attach with the email so let's go to google now and type php mailer you choose first link which is github link and then on right side you can see clone or download button click on this down arrow and then click download zip you can also install this PHP Miller class using Composer, but I'll show you how to install it manually. Now our download is finished. Now you click on this zip file. You can see inside this zip file, I have PHP Miller dash master folder. I'll open this folder and go to source directory there. From here, I need three files: SMTP, PHP Miller, and exception.php. These three files I'll copy in includes directory, which is under my SDX folder, PHP Miller, and then includes. I'll copy this path and click on extract to and paste this path here and then click OK. Now you can see these files I got here in this my includes directory. I'll close this zip file. I don't need any more. Now here inside my sublime text editor, what I'll do, I'll drag PHP Miller folder inside this sublime text editor now you can see i got this php mailer directory here inside my sublime text editor and here you can see inside includes i got these three files as well so let me create another file i'll right click on php mailer and i'll create one file name index.php and here first of all i'll open php tags now before start coding what i'll do i'll just write all the steps as comments and then we'll follow all these steps one by one let me close this sidebar and make font little bigger. So the very first step will be include required PHP Mailer files. Next step will be define namespaces. Then create instance of PHP Mailer. And then set mailer to use SMTP. Define SMTP host. Next step will be enable SMTP authentication. And the next step will be set type of encryption. It can be SSL or TLS. Then we need to define the port. Set port to connect SMTP and then set gmail username set gmail password after password set email subject then set sender email from which email this email will go that will define there and the next step is email body Next, there will be add recipient, the one who will receive the email. And then second last step, finally send email. And then last step will be closing SMTP connection. So let's work on these steps one by one. 
the first step will be we need to include those files that we keep in our include folder so let's include one by one require inside includes we have php melon first file and then i'll copy this line and paste two time more the next file will be smtp and the last file is exception.php so the first step is done now let's come to the second step here we'll define the namespace use php miller php miller and php miller namespace and then copy this line again and paste it two time and here i'll define smtp and the last will be exception that's all now let's go to the third step which is creating instance so it will be mail is equal to new php mailer parenthesis and semicolon and then let's move to the next step which is set mailer to use smtp that will be now dollar mail and is smtp function we'll call this function I'll copy this part because I need it again and again so I'll just paste it when I need it here I'll paste it and define host which will be smtp.gmail.com and the next will be type of authentication we'll do smtp auth is equal to true and then next step is to define encryption type so here I'll paste again this dollar mail and then smtp secure that will be tls the next step is defining the port so the port will be 587 for tls we use 587 port here we'll add username the username will be dev face 5038 at gmail.com which is my uh, email you can define your own email your own gmail account and the password I will define the password the P and U should be capital here we'll define the subject of email so it will be test email using php mailer and next is sender who is going to send this email so i will say set form so inside this will define the email address that we are going to use to send this email so the email is dev office 5038 at gmail.com here we'll define the body so this is going to be plain text email so here i'll write this is plain text email body and the next step is to add the person who will receive this email so it will be uh, add address and here we will define same email you can define any email you want and then last is to send this email finally so for this we will say send function we'll call send function the last step is to close the smtp connection so it will be smtp closed function and here we can put this uh, send email function inside this if condition to verify if our email is going properly and here if everything goes fine so we'll echo email send and inside else we can define echo error so now let's go to browser and hit this file but before going to that I want to show you there are some settings for Gmail that must be enabled before sending email using PHP when you're going to use your email SMTP server outside your gmail official apps you should need to enable these settings so where are these settings uh, you should go to manage your google account if you will not enable these settings 
you will not be able to send the email using this php mailer so you should go to uh, security and then go very bottom and here you will find one option less secure app access when this option is off you will not be able to send the email so you must on this option so click on turn on access which is not recommended of course you click it here and then on this so that's all we can go back now we can try to send email and inside this our email inbox will receive the email the one we are going to send through our php mailer here you can see i got critical security alert because i just changed the settings inside the security so we can ignore this because we know we just did it so let's go to the browser and now write localhost slash php mailer and slash index.php and now let's hit this file and see what's the result if everything goes fine we'll receive one email here in our inbox with plain text email body let me hit enter we got email sent message and here we go you can see i just received one email uh, which is test email using php mailer it was the subject of that email and here you can see this is plain text email body now let's see how to send any html email so before the body we'll click enter and add another step here we'll say enable html now here again i'll paste dollar mail and write is html true so we'll enable the html tagging inside the body so now we got this html tags enable here we can define the html tags i'll just add one h1 heading here this is h1 html heading and here we can make one break tag and then one paragraph tag and inside this we can write HTML paragraph so that's all but before sending this let us attach one uh, picture with this email so again after this HTML we'll say attachment again I'll paste dollar mail and add add attachment and here you have to define the path of your image file or the file you want to attach so I have one file inside image directory the name is attachment dot png so that's all we enable HTML and then also we added one attachment also with this email by defining the path of that image uh, of attachment and there is HTML tags inside the body now let's try to send email again and see if we receive email with HTML tags plus the attachment now let me refresh this page and go back to my inbox you can see there is one email now and there should be another email you can see now there is another email with the attachment and if I open this email you can see this is h1 HTML heading and this is HTML paragraph and there is attachment also you can click on this attachment and you can see there is one attachment with the email the one we attached before sending this email so that's all I hope you got much idea of uh, sending email using PHP mailer you know how to send plain text email you know how to send HTML email also and you know how to attach the attachment with the email I hope you like this video and if you have any comment any question you can ask in the comment section below thanks for watching this video and you can see this message subscribe to our YouTube channel now thanks and see you in the next video